Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, um, yeah, happy 2020 and I think um, 2019 didn't really end off very well for me but I'm back. So I still have a couple of videos that are like my top 10 or like top best 2019 products which will slowly upload because I did segregate them into different parts. But today I thought I should just quickly get over and done with with this box of stuff here. So this actually products that I ordered um, for Good Friday and um, I wanted to do a Black Friday video for you guys but it was a long long video and a lot of products are everywhere so I decided to do this one first and yeah let's just jump right in so all along I've been shopping at Couch Beauty for a really, really long time and I think the prices are always very competitive so I really like to purchase um, and shop there so this is the first time that I bought a couple of things and it actually really gave me a legit like box for me because firstly, um, whenever I order from them, right, they use cardboard, fold into like the box shape, so like it wraps my products, and then they wrap it with plastic, which I always felt it was a little bit cheap. But I mean, the price is competitive. I can do with that. But this time, they actually give me like a legit big box for my items. So I thought like I should just dedicate one for them. So yeah, my happy receipt here. Or the shipment, shipment order so yeah first up right is the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette boat um, I have always wanted to get Anastasia products like for a long long time and um, for some reason because like a hits and misses and whatnot I believe there's one that it came out it was really like a very very bad it doesn't have any pigmentation it just crumbles a lot of fallout and whatnot so it kind of put me off and it's been a while since I'm into eyeshadows like really for 2019 I almost lived with no eyeshadows like the most I had was like very minimal one um, and I sort of like forgot how to place the shadows how to be creative I wasn't motivated to eyeshadows to do eyeshadows you know what I mean and um, recently because of Tom Ford Port, which I think I mentioned in my previous video it kind of gets me into eyeshadow palettes so then um, I saw this the price is really really good so I you know beat the bullet so the first one you have modern renaissance and then you also have soft brand which is the two palettes that I really really wanted from Anastasia so um, I much prefer the soft brand because I think the colors are more muted um, and I think it's easier for me like it's more in my comfort zone which I don't have to really kind of like plan before I do my shadows and everything um, but I do like Modern Renaissance because the colorway, the color story is just very bright and it's just like in the red and browns, burgundies, you know, all those colors that are, that always have a place in my heart. So I bought this one and I think that the packaging looks really nice as well. I mean it's glitter, it's not glaze or whatsoever but when you rub it hard, mm, some glitters do get off but it's not like rainy glitters or whatnot. So I think this is really, really cute. So it retails for £46 because I live outside of the UK so... Yep, it's £46. Yep, correct. Oh, and anyway, I have uh, a coupon code, so I have 25% off. So, yep, the price I think I believe it was before this count, so it's £46. Next up, I have the NARS Reflecting Loose Powder, which I've already started using. Um, I feel like this one is something that you can probably live without and probably not get it because it reminds me a lot of the RCM Amino Color Powder, it reminds me a lot of the Makeup Forever HD Powder. Um, and dot that sort of powder, you know, and it reminds me a lot of the Innisfree like no sebum powder. So the texture is really seen. Um, it's like white cast. It's not really like it doesn't give a white cast, but it makes your complexion a little bit paler. You know that kind of thing. So this one is ten grams. It's twenty four pounds, and I feel like um, the Nas one is not comparable to the Laura Mercier. That one has more body. Like the powder has more substance, more body to it. It felt heavier, I think, but it really kind of sets everything down and I don't know for some reason I much prefer the L'Oreal Mercier one and because of, I have more like oily combination skin I feel like the L'Oreal Mercier does have more like, oil controlling properties than that so and the NARS is 10 grams the L'Oreal Mercier is 29 grams so you know pick your own so I think that I mean you can really go away with the L'Oreal Mercier one if not just get the Innisfree one which I think is almost exactly the same and this is also 10 grams yep it's also almost 10 grams, yeah. And the thing is, this is so small, and it's like almost a fraction of the price. Then moving on, I have Huda Beauty, which is the Mercury Retro Grid Palette. So I bought this one. It is their four-piece press kit, right? I got this 60 pounds, 
because I think like for twenty dollars extra, I got four other items. So I think it's very very good. So I purchased this. I mean, an extra you know, like holographic pouch is always nice. So inside, they actually have like this three brushes which is dual ended. The only thing I don't like is this sponge applicator here because all of you guys know that sponge applicator be it that you use it or not, as time goes by it kind of just degrades and then it becomes powdery and all those and just like fades away. Um, but brushes are something that you can use all the time and you can reuse it for a long long time. So I don't know why they want to include this one but the brushes I felt it, it was quite okay. Um, and they are dual ended so it's actually very convenient for travelling. And then I also really like the handle because it's also holographic which I like. And then this is a palette um, itself. I've always wanted, like the Anastasia palette, right? I've always wanted to try something from Huda Beauty. Last year when they came out with nude, the nude palette, which on Sephora.sg, it has a 30% off right now, or 20% off. I'm not really sure, but check the price if you're interested. Um, I've always wanted to try that product, but then um, this time when it came out, I thought like, I should try the new one. And also the packaging has an upgrade. It's no longer the cardboard packaging, it's more like plastic. Then the colours are really, really nice. Yep, I think these two rows are really like colours that I will wear very, very often because the colours are more muted so it's more like my type and here, although the colours are not something that I reach out very often especially the blue and the purple or the green and the purple but I think it's always good to have something something like extra in the palette so as and when you need it, you have it and if not, it's always fun to look at so this is Huda Beauty and then next up, I have from Rowan I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly Rowan or Rowan. Okay, I have the Cool palette which is the 52 degrees palette. Well, this one, I tried it. I don't really like it. I like the formula. Okay, but I don't like how the glitters just really kind of just falls everywhere. I'm not really into that, right? This colour is really nice because you look at it, you think it's like a, like a normal champagne colour but it's more of like a gold with um, a lot of, it's like pink base but it have a lot of gold glitters in it which complements Asian skin tones and even for anybody I think it looks really, really nice and girly. I also really like the brown. It's a very nice pretty toned type of brown that I liked but it have a lot of like silver glitter flecks in it which doesn't complement my skin tone so it's kind of like a mix. Um, and I think this one which is like a cream formula it's really nice as well. It's like a very nice good base I think. This is a colour that I would never use but then again because I wanted to try the palette so I purchased this. I didn't get a warm because it was out of stock at the point of time. Uh, it recently came back in stock, but because I've used this palette and I don't like how much it felt, like it just fell off, um, like a lot of fallouts, um, I'm not sure I wanted to get too warm. So that is that, right? But I do like how small and compact the packaging is. So that is something. But I'm going to continue to try uh, this palette and see how it goes. And then I also got the Rowan Disco Eye. This is the universal colour. I didn't get the warmer colour because um, in photos, that one looked really, really dark and deep. Um, and for me, like with such big chunks of glitter, I really wanted it to be a lighter colour. This one, right, when you swatch it, right, it really just dispersed the glitters. You see this? Like, everywhere. So this one reminds me a lot of the 3 Concept Eye Switch. But this one, right, the glitters are almost the same. But it's just that this one, right, you can place it where it is. And because it's in like a liquid formula, you guys see, it's very, very similar. You know, you can actually concentrate them at places that you want. This one is more of like a dispersed look. So this, you get it, when you want to have it on your upper eyelids, you want it to be dispersed. If you want very concentrated ones, I would rather recommend this kind because they have the applicator. They, you don't have to have a mix, mixing medium in it. So take your pick, but both of them reminds me very similarly of each other, depending on the colour, um, maybe the colour difference. But other than that, they are very, very similar. And then because that one, if you wanted to really place it all over, right? If you use your hands to pat it, I mean, you can do that. But then again, a lot of the glitters will be on your hand rather than on your eyelids. That's what I experienced with the eye switch. So you have to use the applicator and kind of like put it at places that you want, which I think it doesn't get that nice, like more like, you know, a more messy type of look. So it's more like, you know, like you didn't really put it there and whatnot. So this one achieved it very, very quickly. Just like apply it and then everything is set. So it's for different users. So take your own pick. And next, which I think is the last item, yeah, it's the last item, is this one. This is the Kevin Aquan um, Art of Sculpting and Defining Volume 3 palette. I got this because um, I've always been loving, you know the Korean hot contour colours, the BBR one? 
like this type of very light color and the Misha one like I have been loving this too for contouring because they are just they give me kind of like contour effect that I want very lightly contour them um, and they're just very foolproof you cannot go wrong with it so I really like this type because it's just like easy to put on you don't have to be too precise and also because I'm quite clean and lean um, I don't want too much of an angular um, for like my face shape I want it to be more rounded to so look more youthful which is what the looks I like so um, yeah but I really wanted to try Kevin O'Conn's sculpting powders so I'm not sure whether I should get the light or the medium so I got this so I have both so I have swatched the color light is exactly like the shade the tone like the BBR and the um, Misha contour blush um, and medium is slightly darker so I think for me what I prefer is I like to mix them both up together to create like a deeper color so sometimes especially when it's like a night event or when I'm filming and I wanted something stronger I would be able to get the darkness and the color pigmentation that I want so now that I've tried it I think that for me if I want I would get the medium color from Kevin Aquan and just get the you know the cheaper alternatives from BBR and Misha some recently they have a lot of new ones like from I believe Roman they have one they also have one from Ari Town I think so it's all like the lighter shade color which you can mix and whatnot but for me now I think I know that I would want to get the medium from Kevin Aquan because the shade is more it's deeper, it's darker. Um it's a very good like mixing to kind of deepen up my contour and I'll just get the cheaper one for every day, you know. So now I know. Um and I tried it because this is like um this is 39 pounds, 40 pounds. Um but it's also very nice for travel because you have like all three colours, you know, you can contour and mix and you know, mix and match however you want it, and you have two like highlights and you have one blush. And I think although I'm not really into cool blushes anymore because of this portion here, which kind of warms up this entire Blush, it kind of makes it look a little bit like orangey for the color. Like that. Like this. So it's more like orange, peachy type of color. You can mix uh, anyhow that like you like it. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. So um, it gives me like a chance to try everything, which I think that's awesome. So yeah, the only thing I don't like is I don't know why they have to put this here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I like this one. I think um, it's a very good palette to travel with because you have almost every single thing there. And then, yeah, this is my Cow Beauty haul that I got for Black Friday. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!